So Wednesday morning started off pretty rough. It started off with some cussing and yelling coming from the downstairs office. And evidently, Miss Vicky had got herself locked out of my PayPal, which she shouldn't have been in to begin with. But then she got locked out of her own work computer, twice. So since it's pretty dangerous in the house right now, I decided to head out to the shop and I find Billy's already here. He's got the shop all opened up and he's busy working on his Mustang. Now I'm not necessarily sure what exactly he's up to, but I know there's been a bunch of boxes dropped off here lately from TrickFlow. I figure that's directly related to the fact that he's been beaten by everything he's set beside except Brendan's truck in the last two weeks. Regardless, I don't really have time to keep track of him today. I've got some errands to run. I need to run down to Stoutsville to pick up a couple of mother bottles of nitrous from CJ. So I get the old 64 out, clean up the windshield, and I head out on the road. Now I haven't been driving this truck much lately. To be honest with you, it's kind of been out of sight and out of mind. There's a few things I still want to get accomplished on this truck. One, I want to get power steering put on it. Two, I want to get the vintage air kit installed on it. And three, I really want to pull this stock 350 out of it and put something in it that runs a little bit better so that we can pull a merch trailer with it eventually. And since Tommy decided he's not gonna use that 385 small block Chevy in his short bed Chevy pickup project, I think that's gonna be the perfect engine to put in Miss Vicky's pickup. I plan on getting started on that as soon as I get this 55 Chevy engine done and get the 55 back on the road. Anyway, by the time I got back to the shop, I see that Mr. Tommy has showed up today and he's got his truck backed up to my shop door and I can tell from a mile away that boy's up to no good. He's been aggravating the shit out of me about that 5.3 he's putting in his truck, and he's listening to all the internet experts that tell him exactly what he needs to do. He's located this supposedly all rebuilt 4L80E transmission that he plans on putting behind that 5.3 liter LS in his full size pickup. And all the internet parrots that regurgitate bullshit that they've already heard somewhere else have got him all stirred up. So that's, they say that's all they need. Shift kit and a couple little parts, and they're ready for 800 horsepower. Where are you going to come up with 800 horsepower? While Tommy's out back drooling all over this transmission he scored, Billy is evidently dismantling his Mustang while Harley cleans out the Suburban and the Dually and sweeps out all the sand from Myrtle Beach Dragway. She had the trucks all cleaned up and looking nice in no time. But the boys, well, they're tearing this Mustang apart in my shop. And evidently, Billy's gonna pull the engine clear out of this thing to clean the engine all up, regasket it, and he's got a brand new set of trick flow cylinder heads and a trick flow camshaft ready to go in it. So stay tuned folks, cause the streetcar stuff is definitely heating up. Anyway, Billy worked on the Mustang till pretty late into the night. And then I got some kind of bad news Wednesday night into Thursday morning. So things have been pretty hectic since we got back from South Carolina and uh, my dad's in the hospital. Uh, again, he had open heart uh, last week and um, he's having some complications from the surgery. He's got an infection in his leg and then he's got a blood clot in his other leg. So I'm going in there this morning to go see my dad. Now my dad's never been very good at going to the doctor or going through procedures at the hospital. He does not like needles. He does not like operations. He doesn't like pain. He doesn't do well with it. He definitely struggles with depression from time to time. And my concern is if he doesn't get up and get going and do his exercises like they ask him to, he may get down and he may not come back. So I don't want to be hard on my dad, but I definitely want to make sure he understands it's important to do what the doctors are telling him to do. So I visited with him for a little while. And I think the one thing that really perked him up more than anything was talking to him about running beans this fall. Now dad's not going to be able to do it on his own. So Jeremy and I are gonna run beans for him this year. And even though he was a little late getting his beans planted this spring, this year looks like his best crop of beans he's ever had. But his combine definitely needs a little bit of work. So I promised dad as soon as I left the hospital, the first thing I'd do is gather up June pup and we'd go up to the farm. And Jeremy and I would start getting a list together of everything we need to do 
to the combine to get it ready for bean season. Now this farm has been in my family since 1899 and the field right here in front of you was bought in 1902 by my great 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 grandfather. And my grandparents on my dad's side built this house back in the 70s. So this place means a lot to me and my brothers and my mom and dad. But in order for us to keep this place, it has to be farmed because without the agriculture exemption for taxes, none of us would be able to afford to pay the property taxes to keep it in the family. So eventually it's gonna be up to me and my brothers to help keep this place going, especially while dad's laid up in the hospital. So anyway, once I got done up the farm, I came back down to the house and Vicki and I made plans to have a little cookout on the patio tonight and invite Kenny and Harley out for dinner. Vicki got started making hamburgers and I went ahead and pulled a Malibu in the shop to get started working on it. Because now that Billy's got this Pro Mod 302 sitting over here ready to go back down in his Mustang, it's only a matter of time before I'm going to have to lean on this Malibu quite a bit harder to stay in front. Now regardless of what happens with the Mustang, my concern right now is getting this Dash 4 line replaced with the Dash 6 and getting these little pea shooter solenoids replaced with these new Nitrous Express Lightning solenoids. So Kenny and I got started removing the Dash 4 line and replacing it with the Dash 6 to hopefully alleviate some of the restriction in the smaller line. The new line requires some new fittings and new bottle nuts because these Lightning valves currently have a Dash 4 bottle nut on them that won't work with the new Dash 6 line. Kenny and I stopped working just long enough to get a bite to eat and then went right back to work. All right guys, so we're out here in the shop working on the Malibu and ran into a couple of snags. Uh, the Nitrous Express bottles that I have have, uh, well, most of them have that lightning valve and they take a different uh, bottle nut adapter than what I picked up at Jegs the other day. So I got to take those back and get the right ones. And then also these new solenoids, they won't mount the same way the old ones did. So I'm going to look around tomorrow while I'm at Jegs and see if I can't find some different brackets uh, to mount my nitrous solenoids. So. I was thinking about going out and testing this thing tonight and see if it worked, but I can't do that. So have to wait till tomorrow. Oh God, I can hear her coming. I had to sit down and write down all the details so that I don't forget anything. So Kenny had to leave. Why? Harley got locked out of her own vehicle Aww. at the gas station. What? Yep. Does he have a spare key? Spare key? I don't know. Junior did it. Oh no. <laughs> He's in hot water. Yes. All right. So let's go ahead and do the details before Kenny Powers comes back. Oh, he's he coming may, back. Well, he may not come back. I he don't know. He may not get to. He may not get I to. I may have to call our buddy with the special tool. Where to begin? All right. So, number one, let's talk about hoodies hoodie season oh yeah fall weather so if if you guys have been waiting the all summer the hoodies were out of stock but they're being made they're going to be here in just a couple of weeks and so they're live they're back on the website if you'd like to go ahead and get yours and we'll be shipping them out in a couple weeks so they're pre-order they're pre-order yes they are they are back live on the website all right um let's talk about the online scammers because I'm a little, a little hot about what happened today in the YouTube comments there's somebody who uses our logo and they say oh congratulations you've won a prize click here to accept don't do it because you're taking yourself straight to some foreign dude who's pushy and they sent me screenshots of their conversation holy cow this guy's like yes uh you you have won a truck and they don't say what kind of truck but a rc truck or a full-size truck who knows but you've won a truck right and then they say well, you just have to pay the shipping and the shipping they give you an option fedex and they want you to pick 140 dollars or 150 dollars you get to choose which shipping you want and then choose paypal or, or what is it cash app or whatever they're just trying to get you to pay the shipping money and then rob you they're gonna take your money and you're never gonna get any truck it's not us we would never give a prize away that way and they get very pushy this woman actually kind of engaged with them a little bit and they get pushier and pushier and like anybody who knows us would be like this isn't bill this isn't vicky right just don't click on it that's all on that topic is that it now 
No. Oh. Can we talk about the big news we got last night? We can talk about anything you want to talk about. <sighs> this is going to be both good news and bad news. The, I'll do the bad news first. We're not going to war in the woods. I know that that's where we thought we were going, but it turns out there has been a schedule change. Do you want to tell them why? I'm waiting for you. All right. So, you guys remember No Prep Kings? Our boys... Just remember, everybody, when you've bitched at me about interrupting my wife, what? tonight I'm not interrupting. We're going to let this fly. Go ahead. <laughs> How many timers are you going to put on me? It's uh, been four minutes right now. Okay. So, uh, the boys got to be part of the No Prep Kings Locals Only Show, which is hosted by Farm Truck and Asian. Right. They filmed their episode back in June at our home track, Trails. Well, we were told that they were, there was going to be a season-ending finale where the winner from each track got to do a runoff. Well... They told us it was going to be Colorado, and that just wasn't in the cards for us. Like, we weren't going to be able to make a trip clear to Colorado, so we didn't think we were going to get to do the finale. Well, guess what? The producer texted Tommy last night and said, hey, we've changed the schedule, and now we're going to film the finale at Norwalk, at Summit Motor, what's it called? Summit Raceway. So that's only, like, a few hours from us. Summit Motorsports Park. Thank you. Couldn't think of it. So it's like, we sat down and had a family meeting, Billy, Tommy, all of us, and we were like, Weighing the pros and cons. Do we go to Warm the Woods or which one? And like, we just, we really want to experience this and finish out this series because it's going to be a TV show and that's the finale to the TV show and the boys want to complete it. So it's pretty exciting. So that weekend is uh, September 23rd and 24th. That's Friday and Saturday. We'll be at Norwalk, Ohio, yep. Summit Motorsports Park for no prep kings locals only mm -hmm. finale yes and i believe that the majority of that locals only race is actually on saturday but we'll be there both days okay um will you have merch lots of merch hoodies long sleeve tees t-shirts decal stickers we'll have all the stuff billy will have street racing channel stuff we'll have gen 2 garage stuff i'll have girly glitter hoodies back in stock so that'll all be with us at norwalk so that's a that's a pretty big deal we're excited we hate that we have to miss war in the woods now keep in mind weather could change anything if norwalk gets rained out and it's dry at war in the woods we'll go down to war in the woods still um and vice versa just we'll leave our options open but or if we blow everything up the week prior <laughs> we just won't be there period right that god Let's not speak of that. Um, what? A, oh, so anybody who's interested in going to this No Prep Kings uh, thing, on Facebook, there's a good page to follow, and it's called Street Outlaws Live Facebook page. Street Outlaws Live. That has the links if you want to get tickets that are cheaper. Because you can get tickets the day of at the gate, but if you like to get a deal and get tickets ahead of time, go to Street Outlaws Live Facebook page. What else? Um, so, we're at on. seven minutes, 36 seconds. My arm's falling asleep and the phone battery's going dead. Pressure. That's all. I did it. Your details are so boring, you put Chevy to sleep right in the middle of the floor. Do you know, at um, the race in North Carolina, South Carolina, I had at least 10 people tell me that my details were the whole reason they were there, that they wouldn't have even known about the race if it wasn't for my details. So there. Well, Chevy would still be alive today if it <laughs> weren't for your details. <laughs>